Hello, my name is Swiss Bianco. In this video we will have a look at the Gerber MP600 uh, plier, the EOD version for the US military. Uh, that EOD, uh, it's a multi-tool from 1999 that was introduced back then. I still remember as that was new. Everybody wanted it, but uh, not many could afford it because it was a substantial more expensive than the regular version that also got adopted by the US military. So 2024 finally I got around and get one for test and for the video. So what we have is a typical MP600 series uh, with black coating. They also made uh, at least a number in the regular uh, silver color. Uh, stainless steel color but most of them that are around are black. Uh, this one is used uh, like new condition and uh, the main features of it obviously is here the punch so we can uh, put that out it locks has the usual locking parts on both sides so we have the C4 punch so you can punch the hole in your favorite explosives for uh, mount the blasting cap you can unlock close it as we are here already we quick look at the other tools uh, we have a two hand opening blade also locking each of the parts does lock uh, half serrated blade then we have a Phillips screwdriver and a lanyard ring so you can fold that out if you uh, work in the night over water uh, in the middle of a forest whatever in the jungle like me you can uh, lanyard leash that to your equipment so you don't lose it because it's all black it's easy to drop. Then on the other side we have the other unique feature on this version is the rem grit jigsaw blade. Of course you can replace that by pushing that button in and then it slides out. Uh, it just came from the factory with that rem grit uh, pattern. I remember that in 99 as well. So uh, that you can use whatever uh, saw blade, jigsaw blade style that you want. Uh, nice design there. Again we press that back to unlock, put it in. Then on this side we have a metal file on both sides. A bit finer, a bit more coarse. Unfortunately the bottom part is smooth. If they would have a bit uh, coarse uh, uh, pattern on it you could use it even a bit as a metal file but maybe they said I mean as a metal saw maybe they said they used the rem grid instead of that then can opener can't go without can opener and then we have a screwdriver flat screwdriver about medium size there again each part locks just a bit of fiddling to get them out of the compartment there and that's it then the other side uh, what we see first hand we have wire cutter uh, not the replacement metal insert one uh, that one uh, would not shatter on you then we have needle nose pliers uh, like brand new on that example not much got uh, crimped or clamped on. Then in the middle that unusual shape looking part here is the plastic cap crimper so that you can crimp the regular quite likely NATO size uh, plastic cap just what we regularly have in in USA in use for all the, the decades and of course the plier is locking a typical uh, Gerber 
MP600 system you have the middle button here and here so as you press both together you can slide uh, the plier inward so the item is more compact and closed and as it goes forward it locks itself automatically so uh, that's pretty much it quality wise really nice uh, this one was a uh, 60 dollar used uh, like new uh, no sheet the belt sheets uh, you can get online relatively easy the tool is the problem uh, because the, the US military uses those uh, MP600 and uh, different variations uh, for quite a while uh, there are at least on the US market some uh, more or less used ones on the market so relative simple now how it goes with the with the crimper uh, I did prepare here a look-alike so you see a piece of paracord as the fuse and uh, empty 22 long rifle shell uh, casing as the blasting cap uh, again this is not real that is just to demonstrate how that how that uh, goes and uh, because the size is not correct of course it did not uh, crimp there correct either so what you have is a uh, the cap usually aluminium on the end it's rounded off so it goes nicely and easily in the hole uh, that you just punched in the favorite C4 so first you put the fuse whatever fuse you have uh, in the blasting cap and then you need to do a crimp like I did already here so you use the middle section the middle section there and then you simply you see the pliers are not completely uh, together you simply press it by hand take it off rotate it a bit press it again and you can do that as many times as you want uh, so that basically the the, the fuse is trapped inside the aluminium blasting cap so you have a solid item then you, that goes in the hole and often uh, like by C4 it's a bit uh, pliable the material you can press with your thumb the hole a bit uh, uh, close the hole a bit so that the item for sure is all the way in uh, it needs to go as far in as possible so we see we have the length there of the punch where that would go uh, pretty much like this length it would go in that is needed that that uh, ignites correct the way how that works uh, if you have a electric fuse uh, you uh, push the, the trigger or the button whatever you have it gives an explosion in the blasting cap the front part of the blasting cap is filled with relative strong uh, explosive just a little amount but relative a lot and that initial explosion translate then to the main charge uh, whatever you have there and uh, that then explodes by itself by the pressure of the blasting cap uh, that uh, of course there is not much of a of a delay in it uh, once the blasting cap explodes uh, the c4 or whatever you have uh, explodes as well uh, relative instantly without any any uh, measurable uh, delay at all so yeah all in all for sure a nice equipment if you have to to crimp uh, items like that every day I for sure would uh, use a bit a different crimper uh, uh, specialized tool but uh, to have the ability to do that with a simple compact plier that you multi-tool that you quite likely gonna carry anyhow and it's just added that punch and uh, the, the crimper section in front that is absolute great absolute great if you are gonna use it or uh, not that uh, is not that much of a, of a weight difference it was just always the price 
that uh, prevented me to get such an item. Uh, maybe there are now laws in Europe as well that would ban such items, I don't know. Uh, who cares? I'm in USA, I'm in freedom and I made my luck in life so I can test those things how I want. So that much about the uh, Gerber MP600 DET EOD multi-tool that was brand new in 1999.